We are at the start now for the Weifold Challenge Cup. Closest to us is Cork Boat Club Island against Vesta Rowing Club A. Wow. Quick adjustment there from Jonathan Goody in the uh, stroke seat of the Cork boat there. Quickly put his rate mitt box on, but grab the handle and off on the go. Yeah, good start there for both crews. It's an interesting matchup this actually because Vesta, as we were talking about earlier, we've got a lot of crews racing this year at Henley, but this is allegedly is their top boat, uh, this uh, Vesta A crew in the Wifold. So uh, a good matchup against this slick cork boat from, uh, from Ireland. Yeah, the talk around the place is that this cork crew are pretty handy, as we're seeing now, leading out, as you say, at this top ranked Vesta boat who are really struggling to match that speed in these first few hundred metres. Of course, a lot of race to play out yet, but a great start there by Cork, currently leading by a length over Vesta Rowing Club A. And Vesta certainly coming from Australia and seeing every year the incredible standard and engagement in club level rowing. It's so impressive and Vesta every year showing up with so many crews is really, really just inspiring to, to see. I mean, we'd love to set up something like this in Australia in terms of a club scene in rowing. It's just, it's something I think that's quite unique to Britain. Oh yeah, these clubs are amazing. Everyone loves, you know, Vesta, great club, great atmosphere, great bar, all that kind of stuff. But look at these guys. I mean, I was trying to clock the court crew there because that their rating was really still pretty high as they were coming off the end of the island there. So they were definitely pushing hard and really trying to get as much lead as they could early on here, which is what they've done. It's paying off for them. They've got a comfortable buffer, haven't they, over Vesta? They do. And Cork Boat Club Island, as we go to the live shots here. Yesterday they beat Marlow Rowing Club by two thirds of a length. And now looking to get the job done to get through to Thursday. Currently they're on track to do that. So we have a great shot here down into the boat. Michael Cronin in the bow seat, Peter Grogan in two, Thomas Early in three and Jonathan Cuddy in the stroke seat of the Cork crew. Yeah, and you're, you're, you know, that, that race against Marlow looks like it's pretty close yesterday to be two thirds of a length. But yeah, you know, in, in that race as well, they had this phenomenal high rating off the start, higher than you would do normally. But looking across there, it looks like they've really settled it down and got something kind of long and strong. I got to commentate on the Vesta crew yesterday where they beat Worcester by one and a half lengths. So they looked very comfortable yesterday. So an interesting matchup, these two crews to get one another on the Wednesday, probably hoping that that might have happened later in the week, but here they are. Yeah, it's a tough draw, isn't it? That, that court boat looked really lively, didn't it? Really looked like it's skimming across the water. Actually, this shot's great here as well. It looks like a really nice rhythm in there, doesn't it? You know, really just springing along, very dynamic, very elastic. They look incredibly poised. You can see their bodies, all of the bodies moving straight up and down the center line of the boat. There's really very little um, movement or yaw in the, in the boat as we're looking at the back of it. And really they're just moving straight up and down the center of the boat, really unfussy, efficient rowing. So I think they're doing a really lovely job. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Yeah, it was really cool that, wasn't it? Having that, that top shot on the, uh, on the crew there as they're just bouncing along. Bouncing along in a nice fashion, you know, yeah, it's good. Vesta now trying to make an attempt to get up. They're lifting their rate. They know that if they're going to have a challenge now is the time. A bit of a steering correction there from Vesta. Have to be really careful not to overcorrect on the course. You can see it is impacting their boat a little bit. A few dirty strokes there, but they're absolutely going for it. Vesta are sprinting as they come past the stewards enclosure down towards us. Can they surprise? Cork and get themselves ahead. It is a sprint down to the line. They're closing down on them, didn't they? I saw Tom Smith in the bow seat, ex Windsor boys there, looking around, having a good look at Cork, and he's obviously said something because it's motivated them. They are charging them down. This is going to be quite a close one to the finish. Cork must feel comfortable because they're coming across the line and they don't look too stressed about it. Unfortunately, the best are just running out of time. Oh. Yeah, commiserations to the Vesta there, the top boat, but they raced that hard. Good race against Cork. And Sarah, thank you very much for having me. I'm going to hand over to uh, Jim Harlow, uh, a, a Vesta man himself.